So, it's Monster Bash time again, and this year the group decided to make a new deck of cards to inspire our builds. I leaned into the idea that these are monster parts, but a lot of people went in the complete opposite direction. I made two pages, and it was a lot of fun seeing people pull my cards from the deck. There was a big group of us at the card draw, and we had an absolute blast. Here are the cards I pulled from the deck. When the challenge began, I really had no idea what I was going to do with the cards I had pulled. They weren't really speaking to me, and I was honestly worried I wouldn't be able to come up with anything. I kept going back into my bins of toys and bits, looking for anything that might fit with my prompt. After a couple conversations with friends, I had it all figured out, and I knew this was going to be a weird one. I absolutely love skeletons for things that don't have skeletons in the real world. I started this project with a skeleton spider I found at the dollar store. This is going to give us arms, and I'm going to repurpose the head as well. It's got a really creepy vibe, and I think the fangs work really well as horns when you flip it around. I decided to sculpt the hands, so I made a couple of armatures. I also chose this fun dolphin toy I got from my friend Trent to serve as the body of my monster. Since I only needed the body, I cut off the fins and the face. I then stuffed it with some aluminum foil to add some density to the creature. For the bug carapace card, I used an easter egg, and for the anuses, I had the perfect bit thanks to my friend Paige. I got everything glued together with a combination of hot glue and super glue gel, and then it was time to use some epoxy putty to fill in the gaps and make sure everything looked like one unified monster. I had a lot of fun with this stage of the process. Sculpting the missing details gave me a really good creative outlet. I found a wood circle at the dollar store that I could use for a base, and then it was time to paint. When it came to the colors I chose for this monster, I was really inspired by the work of my friend Paige at PMC Illustration. She makes some fun, wild kit bashes and paints them in really vibrant colors. Definitely check out her stuff, uh, link is below. I took inspiration from her Technicolor Nightmares and went with a bit of a blue and pink color scheme.
I used this tube of spackling to give the base some texture. This will allow me to check off my final card, the fingerprints. This creature pulls itself along by its hands, walking with its fingers, leaving behind a trail of fingerprints. And with that, we're done. Another monster bash is in the books. I'll leave you with the final shots, and until next time, bye bye. 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 bye.